Hi, I'm Duane, a resource conservationist with the Seattle School District and a former custodian. I'm here to show you how to set up your lunchroom when it's time to set up for recycling and composting. And we've been to many, many schools and we found this is one of the best ways to set up your lunchroom. Understand the, uh, on the compost, besides the lunchroom, you'll also be taking the compost out in the kitchen, in the teacher's lounge, and if you have a culinary arts or a, uh, a cooking room, you'll take it out there. Understand that you do not have to sort or monitor this. Just set it up. Okay, first thing that you want to put in is your milk bucket with a strainer. And we put it on a uh, milk crate. Uh, it seems to be the perfect height for all age groups. Next item will be the uh, blue recycling container and you'll line it with clear bags and if you double line make sure you double line with the uh, same clear bags underneath. Okay next in line will be your uh, gray uh, landfill container and we line that with a black plastic bag and if you're going to double bag it line it with the same black bag underneath. Next in line you'll have your compost container which will be green you will always line it with the uh, green bag and if you double line it please use the same bag. There are several ways that you can put this on since uh, these bags are sometimes really tight. You can use the clips here to clip it to hold it up or you could use what I would call the rubber band. It's a green rubber band that you can hold the bag on or you can tie it. On the compost bags uh, they're green and you would not want to order more than a month at a time because they'll deteriorate and when you try to put them on they'll split or they'll break when you try to pull them out. Also you would not want to fill them up more than half full for the simple fact they'll get uh, too heavy, they'll split, uh, they're heavy to pull out and uh, so half full, remember the secret half full. And next in line you would have a table so that the trays can be stacked. You have your durable trays, some of you might, or you'll have the paper trays and that you have the students stack them so that they don't take up all your room in your compost. Okay, after lunch or breakfast, you'll take your uh, liquid uh, strainer and you'll take it over and tap it into the garbage. And then you can take your bucket and your strainer to a uh, sink and uh, dump it and rinse it out and uh, get it ready for the next day or for the next lunch. And uh, what's nice about this, it keeps all that liquid out of your, uh, your garbage or your recycling so that you don't have a leaky bag and it saves uh, a lot on messes. You want to take your paper trays and if you have room, Put them in your uh, uh, compost container, or if you don't, you can take them as a stack and set them in your uh, uh, set them on it and take them out that way. Take your uh, durable trays into wherever uh, your kitchen uh, manager would like them put. Then you want to take your uh, uh, tie off all your bags and take them out to the uh, dumpsters. Green is only the bag that you can use in the compost container. If you, they find any other colored bag in there, they will not take it. 